Kyle and his demo how we can enter it as the ops for Jira. It would be long, so please use chapters below to jump into unnecessary category. So I will start first, tell you what it can do. It basically brings information from Azure Develop Development Platform to Jira. Information like branches, commits, pull requests, can see them in supports, as well as builds and deployments. So let's jump in. First, of course, we need to go to Jira and create Azure DevOps and to make liberation. So for this, we need to create a token. Let's create a token first. We jump in here. Let's have a demo token. A token. And let's expire it. Tomorrow. So here is the access we need. We need at this moment called read and write, but it will be changed shortly. Build releases. And more or less that's it. If something is not clear, of course, we should be able to navigate the documentation and quickly check this as well. So let's copy our token. Paste it. Put the expiration date and say the main configuration. Backfill and uh, other things are coming soon, so let's try to save. Of course, it says that our token needs to have an organization. Our organization is this one. So let's save it. So we save the token organization specific. Now we need to create association between Azure DevOps project and Jira project. So first, we of course, we need to select Azure DevOps project we want to subscribe to. So in this case, I will be doing work in Leo Appliance Mastery. Let's save. And afterwards, we can, we can jump into Jira and do some nice work. Okay. Let's refresh the page to ensure that it's all saved nice and well. Now let's go into Jira. We have a, some job to do. So we don't want to launch a telescope. Let's create a feature branch. Of course, we have one rep in our project. We have a main branch for each branch and we will have a feature branch we want to create. Let's create a feature branch. So of course it must, must include Azure, sorry, Jira issue key. So we could link other things to, to Jira. So we have our branch. We can close this window. We answer on our branch. Let's create some nice changes. Web telescope. Of course, we want to have a Jira issue key for smart commits as part of the commit message. Let's do this. And we can, of course, create a pull request. But before we are doing a pull request, I think it also makes sense for us to do some automation. So here we have our project task so if you see well sometimes Jira needs to wait to pick up the information so we see we have our feature branch we have our commit but what I suggest we do if you have some commits we move ticket to in progress and when it's merged we move ticket to done so let's do some automations find the role I think it's in the web section it says when there is a commit made we move to in progress which is very nice so commit is made we move to in progress turn on the rule we can have another rule, okay. When pull request is merged, then we want the an action. Add an action, so we do want to transition an issue to a particular state in our case is done. And we also want add what's the comment. Comment on the issue. The PR is merged with row. Okay, and then we can turn on the rule. When pair is merged, move to done. Okay. Or oh, here we have two lists. We can hold back to the project. And let's see, here's our telescope rule. I do suggest before we even do in the pull request, we create another commit to see that actually automation does the trick web and yes very creative 
window for the era. Set and change. Permit. And now let's see. If you refresh the board. So we do have two hour commits. He has less than a minute, which says second change. So as you see, Jira doesn't always do automations quickly. So okay, it, it was immigrated or moved by automation. Excellent. Now it's the time to do the pull request. So we do the pull request. I do for the web to is called launch. Create run, approve one, complete one, and let's merge it. So again, if we refresh, so now our issue should be, I mean, still in progress, it's merged. Let's see if we refresh again, if Jira Automation made the job. Okay, we see the issue was transitioned to done. And of course we have <laughs> our cool comment. So sounds like it's time for our builds to kick in. Okay, we already have a successful CI build, which is pretty cool. It was less than a minute ago. Excellent. And we also should have, okay, let's now deploy some stuff. We will go to Azure DevOps. I do think we have some releases. Let's release our coolest stuff. So theoretically we could mention the duration case here, but because we have a build which is linked to commits, all of this stuff is linked. So we need to start our build. So let's deploy. We can go to the pipelines. It should be cute. If you come here and refresh. Okay, we see the deployment is in progress. Excellent. Okay, now shortly it should be deployment completed. Excellent to see deployment is completed as well. And we also can see our deployments, of course, in the deployment screen. And we review and operations. And as you see, here is our deployment 1st of February. So this is basically an end demo of Azure DevOps for Jira. More or less, as you see, you can create things, see builds, deployments, uh, branches, commits, pull requests, as well as do some Jira automation magic tricks. So if you have any questions, feature suggestions, please let us know. And also let me know in the comments what other things you want to see. Thank you.